Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular self-study kit of deploying Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise with CVP 11.5, I'm going to show you how to prepare and install a router in a duplex mode. Now, in depending on how your topology is, So this is our topology, router A and router, uh, router A and router B, which contains both logger and router at the same time. Now, I am going to first go to my router A. As you can see, this is router A. And what I want to do, we already validate that the router A is able to communicate with router B by configuring the logger. So right now, what I want to do is go back to this, this particular page, click on router, and start configuring the router part. So add a new router, site A, duplex, and then click next. Now this is very important and you must enter this information carefully. First of all, it's asking you for the private interface of the router between both server. So not just this server alone. So I'm gonna say 151 for high priority, for A and B. Now, normal priority and high priority, that's a QoS, the type of traffic. This is for B. So technically, you could have different IPA subnet for each type of traffic, normal, high priority, uh, priority high priority for A and B. Then again, uh, you know, normal for A and B, depending on how you want to configure. Now, this is the visible interface address, which is the public. It is extremely important that you enter these IP addresses correctly. Failure to do so will uh, shut down your ECCE server. And you can always double check, change it if you need to. Uh, this will enable how many PG that I need to support. So I'm going to say one to let's say six PG. And then continue. You can always increase it if you want to. If you want database access, you want to, must check this option. If you want to communicate with external uh, application, then check this option. If you want context sharing services, which again, uh, certain special services, you can check that option as well. Uh, uh, troubleshooting, reboot on machine on error. I don't like that option, but you may want to keep it for production. This is what define what is normal priority and high priority. So by based on QoS marking. Okay, click next. I will start the service and go ahead and finish. The router will always start with local account on that server. Now while this is being taken place, so let's go to site B. Router. As you can see, it automatically choose site B, duplex, same information, 192, 51, I like copy and paste, and minor editing. So, pay ex extreme care on this because slight error in dot or comma instead of dot may end up causing more headache. Okay, so we said one dash eight, I believe we said, right? One dash eight over the six. I'll double check it. Check all this option. And go ahead and start. Okay, so while that is being taken care of, we'll go to A. So A, the router has been successfully created. You can go back to the return list to see the router. You can click on that and continue to make sure that you selected the right number of PG. Okay, all right. So I'm, I'm gonna modify that to eight and rerun it. Okay, stop and start the service. Okay, so A is being rerun with, and as you can see, B is already done. 
if I go back to my, I close my service control and open it again now I should see two services okay same thing here if I go close it and go to service control I should see two services all right so this is the indication that router has been this two server right now is considered to be as rogger a and rogger b so that's pretty much it for this particular lab i will see you